Hoi there, small fry, and welcome to Itch.io Tasty, the series where we put a word into the itch.io search bar and see what kind of interesting, weird, or notable games we find. Today is Thanksgiving Day, and if you've got anything to be thankful for, well done you. But we decided, I say we as if it's not just me, alone, in a dark room, I decided to put the word turkey into the search bar of itch.io because that's that thing what people eat on Thanksgiving. So let's see what kind of wonderful games we find when we put the word turkey into itch.io. Here we go. Here I go. Very alone. Up first on the docket is Turkey Dinner. Now this game is basically like the old Mario Brothers game or more modern, the Woe Dave game. Woe Dave, very entertaining game. I think I've got Woe Dave on the 3DS. Might play a bit of that today. I like Woe Dave, it's a good game. It's a good game is Woe Dave. This one is okay. It's very random. The Basically, you've got to put out the fire because you're in a big oven. You're a turkey that hasn't been plucked or stuffed or killed even. They've just thrown you into an oven and you've got to uh, use your extinguisher to douse the flames, the sentient flames that are coming out of pipes that are trying to kill you. And if you get hit enough times, the oven heats up, you turn into a, a suddenly a full roast turkey and you're dead. And it's all right. Uh, I like the art and the basic gameplay has promise, but it the, the the patterns of the enemies are just so wild and random that the game isn't as much fun as it should be. It's it's not much fun to play mechanically just because the enemies move so wildly. So that's that's the letdown. It's got pick of the week potential, but it can't be my pick of the week just because I couldn't really get into it because of just just how wacky the enemy movement is. But promise, it's got promise, a turkey dinner. Turkey dinner, this one gets a gumbrel 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 out of a gumbrel gumbrel gumbrel. This is twerky turkey. As you can see, it's flappy bird, but with a turkey and not as good as flappy bird. You know, flappy bird got shit over the years, but at least after you played it for a while, you felt like you could get into a groove. With this, the way the turkey moves and the way the bones that you've got to avoid are placed, it's just, it doesn't sink, it doesn't feel like it sinks up. So I barely ever got past the second bone. I rarely got past the first bone and it wasn't fun and it was just annoying. So Twerky Turkey, just another Flappy Bird ripoff. You can safely ignore this one. This one gets cold stuffing with a bit of shit on it out of 10. Gummy's Thanksgiving Feast. Now this one has some charm to it. It's available on the Google Play Store as well. So it's a mobile game essentially, but you can play it for free on your browser as well. Uh, it's basically just tapping on things. It's obviously been made for touch screens. Uh, doing it with the mouse, it's you know more or less mechanically the same, but you're just not jabbing pictures with a finger. You've just got to click on whatever food is wobbling, whatever food stuff wobbles, you click on slash tap on, and the fox expresses delight, more or less. Gummy the fox is toothless werewolf, apparently, sorry. A uh, werewolf, not a fox. Uh, it's a werewolf called Gummy. And with extra work on this, this could be quite good, I think, uh, if... Maybe even something as simple as not having the food wobble so that it's a little harder to find it. Because right now it really is just click on the picture. But there are ways you could make this challenging. You could move the food around while you're trying to click on it. You could hide the food somehow. You could do a lot to add to the puzzles of it. But as it stands, it's just click on the pictures that wobble until the time runs out. Otherwise, nice art style, nice presentation. Uh, it just needs a bit more meat to it to use a word that has something vaguely to do with a Thanksgiving dinner. This one gets vaguely something to do with a Thanksgiving dinner out of 10. Our pick of the week is Turkey to Success, and it's uh, it's nominally pick of the week because there is a lot of room for improvement in this, but it's got an immediately endearing art style. You know, they do the whole 16-bit thing, but the turkeys are damn cute. It's a two-player game, uh, a two-player platforming racing game. Reminds me a lot of Rascals, uh, the old half-brick game, the one they made before they got really famous with uh, Fruit Ninja. I was always a big fan of Rascals. I love the character design. Somewhere I've got a, a figurine of the king 
from Rascals that Half Brick sent back when I worked at Destructoid. It's a cute little figure. Should put that back on the Jimquisition podium. Anyway, anyway, the point of this is, is it's a two-player racing game, and like I said in the intro, I'm working alone in a dark office, and, and actually anyone who's in the house is asleep right now, so, and, and they wouldn't be interested in playing it even if they were awake, so I just did it on my own just to see what it was like. I can see how with a second player this would be quite fun. You've got a little fork and you, you poke things with it and you can poke the enemy uh, turkey. Uh, one of you can use a controller, one of you can use a keyboard, uh, avoid the enemies. Death, because it's a race, you know, death isn't you being counted out. In a fun twist, you respawn by pressing the movement directions in the opposite directions to break a wishbone, which I think is a, it's a really cute way to respawn a turkey in a game. So I liked that. I love the oddly Halloween-y design to everything. And again, like I said, if I was playing this with someone else, that'd be quite cool. The major downside is it's just this one level you're seeing here. Uh, once you go through it three times, that that's it. Uh, plus, it's a little bit inscrutable as well. The help screen tells you the basic controls. It doesn't tell you things like you can like scurry up walls by hitting jump a bit like Meat Boy. Um, it doesn't tell you that. Uh, it took me a while to work out like how to get up certain places. But otherwise, it's got a lot of promise, and I could see this one if they went back to it and added more levels, maybe a single player thing as well. Uh, they've got the chops. They've got game design chops. Uh, the person who made this one. Facula Arts is the developer, with arts in uh, quotations. So I don't know if that's self-deprecating. But anyway, turkey to success could be a success. Uh, just needs a bit more turkey, you turkey. So this one gets a success out of turkey. We'll end with turkey's date. Let's turkey the turkey. Uh, turkey without an E, the turkey, with an E. It's a, it's a, a, a block sliding puzzle game and not one I got on with at all. I, I did not get on with it. Uh, it's very slow moving and I got as far as the second level and I just started randomly clicking stuff and just couldn't get into it. I mean, it's got a charming little premise. You gotta send a turkey off to do kissing with another bird and eventually avoid enemies and stuff. But there's a lot of block sliding games out there and this one isn't, you know, it's not one of the notable ones by a long shot, so. Can't say much more about it. Turkey's Day gets a wattle out of beak. Well, that's a turkey thing, isn't it? And that about wraps it up for Ichio Tasty this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a nice Thanksgiving if that's what you're into. Um, myself, I'm, I'm gonna eat a bit of a turkey, I guess, and that'll be fun, and then that'll be that. I'm still a bit unwell, um, to be honest. I, I think I'm over the sickness, but I'm all gunked up. Um, it's at that point where it's like proper gunky. You know, when it started to feel, when you feel all yellow, yellowy and pussy inside. Um, I know you want to think about this while you eat your Thanksgiving dinner. Maybe while you're carving the turkey, think about just how full of, of, of mucus I am. Wouldn't that be a treat for you? Thank you for being here with me. Until next time, get itchy and stay tasty, my friends. Bye. Bye.